wait and see if the feed will allow us to get a good turnout because no pep in Tobago, Lyndon Mac, you're having a conversation long distance and you'll be pelting a stone every time you think you feel a feeling to join the conversation. The Tobago issue is different to the Trinidad issue and the Progressive Empowerment Party is approaching the Tobago issue from the position that Tobagonians will determine what Tobagonians want. They have a lot going on in Tobago and we don't need to add our fire to that. The Progressive Empowerment Party has to open an office in Tobago and we will, we will put feet on the ground. But to say we're going to get distracted by the cat fight that is about to break out in Tobago, come on. Let, let Tobagonians tell Trinidad what Tobagonians want. Yeah? One murder for the year already. Go to the wake. Go to the wake and shout, great is the PNM. Because that is a PNM murder. The country, nothing has been done to eradicate poverty. Nothing has been done besides a PNM financier who living on the top of Goodwood Park Hill making commission from hostile boats every time these jackasses fly down there and make a purchase with your money. Telling you, look boat, bring in boat, that will secure the border, line them up, ask Reginald McLean, line them up in Chagaramas, tie them up, make joke, make joke, we are no diesel, make joke, we are no corned beef, make joke, we are no macaroni, make joke, nobody ain't trained for the boat, but you're buying freaking boat. You're buying boat so that your financier friend at the top of Goodwood Park Hill get the lump sum kickback and share it out with the boys. A former PNM minister. That's what is taking place in Trinidad and Tobago. And instead of all of us standing up for this country, we've been marginalized, pushed aside by a handful of weak little men who have only benefited from the bullshit Eric Williams put in place. You see, it's the same ideology as a gang cover your partner and your partner covering you we talk about gangs in this country and gangs is the problem gangs is not the problem fix the politics fix the parliament fix the cabinet fix the government separate the legislature from the executive abolish the local government bullshit abolish the presidency Put a proper operational structure for the country. Stop wasting money. Stop wasting time. People want to talk about how you talk and not about what you're saying. That is foolishness. You are looking, you're looking for deities and hops bread. Start thinking for yourself. It cannot be. It cannot be that this earth has traveled around the sun 58 times since Trinidad and Tobago has been independent. And not for one of those years could we really celebrate and say Happy New Year, looking forward to better on the heels of what went on last year. Plenty people did not see 2020. Plenty people didn't finish the finish line 2020, talking a crocus bag of ass. Plenty people who jump out itself and defend PNM 2015 not here with us today victims of murder victims of a failed health sector victims of the marauding madness on our nation's roads victims of incompetent corrupt failed governance all of them are victims and we play games on all years night. We dress up to stunt up to fool one another. We pop in champagne and we clink in glasses, whining on a sinking ship, knowing we know that Nero was fiddling while Rome was burning. But last night, we out there and we out and bad dressed to the nines, partner. We weave press, we seem cutting with shoes shining like a donkey's stones on a full moon night and we're spending thousands of dollars to pretend that we've grown up living in a real country when in fact 
We are peons and peasants playing dress up while Massa and his gang makes off with the harvest, the fruits of your labor. But Philip, you're black enough. Philip, you're not white enough. Philip, you're not a Hindu. Maybe those three statements is what makes me perfect for the job. Maybe the fact that I am nobody cult. Maybe the fact that I am nobody gang. Maybe the fact that I have demonstrated I will go against tribe and family to prove this point that we can have people of integrity that we can have people of ethics, that we can stand up as one people, regardless of race, color, creed, or class, and make a better Trinidad and Tobago. Make a better Trinidad and Tobago. People come on my wall and say, patients can't get beds. Patients ain't getting beds since 1980, when Slinger Francisco, the mighty sparrow, sang, we like it so. So if patients can't get beds now, or they forget, Kubo P on this whole nation had to be, for we to be so stupid, so insidious, so irresponsible with this democracy. God trip over himself, fall down trying to bless me. The whole bucket of blessings fall down on Trinidad and Tobago and a handful of little Iraqis, little Syrian, little Lebanese. That's who go out of the money. Some white boys called the heart, Johnny O'Halloran. That's who go out of the money. Some others of different hues, Lawrence Dupre and his band, that loot clico that caused the country. People saying, but Philip, Clico nearly finished payback. Bullshit. Clico, Clico took $20 billion of this country's money for 20 years, 10 years. That money could have earned us $20 billion interest put to work. That money can't finish pay with giving me back just what you take. You got to pay interest because the public sucks all for that. That $20 billion that you bail out Clico with, you find that money. PNM and UNC, riddled to the core, corrupt to the heart. Find $20 billion to bail out Clico. That money, that money could have rebuilt every school in this country. That money could have rebuilt every fire station, every police station, and every school. That money could have rebuilt every fire station, every police station, every school, create a proper ambulance service, and still build the 100,000 house HDC looking for, and still have money left over to thief. That is what $20 billion mean. And you could have picked it up, and you could have given it away. Because Ferris and Mervyn Assam and Andre Montai and all the rest of the PNM and UNC bigwigs who was inside Clico and CL Financial make sure that
in that 40 years, in the last 10 alone, we spent $600 billion. Do you know how to be? 10 out of the last 40. $600 billion. Pipe a hand of water. You paid too much for butter. Take it, Steve, leave and go. The terrible school system is such a bloody problem. Take it. The, the terrible school system is such a bloody problem. Leave and go. Agriculture is in a state. Planning is inadequate. Take it, Steve. This country has spent one trillion dollars. Since that song was made 40 years ago, Trinidad and Tobago has spent one trillion and change. 1981, six billion, eight hundred and fourteen million, eight hundred thousand. 1982, eight billion, eight hundred and forty-six thousand, two hundred, eight hundred forty-six million, two hundred thousand. 1983, 6,353,100,000. 1984, 8,888,000. 1985, 9,050,000. 1986, 5,300,000. 1987, 5,845,600,000. 1988, 7,985,107,000. These are national budgets. Eh? 1989, 5,107,800,000. 1990, 7,069,881,861. 1991, 7,611,162,672 1994, $7,756,700,000. 1996,9,666,000,000. 1997,12,399,000,000. 1998,11,000,000. One hundred and forty million dollars. Nineteen ninety nine, eleven billion five hundred and twenty eight million. The year two thousand, thirteen billion one hundred and fifty six million dollars. Two thousand and one, thirteen billion four hundred and forty eight million. Two thousand and two, fifteen billion seven hundred and ninety eight million. Two thousand and three, twenty billion five hundred and seven thousand. 2004, 22 billion, 301 dollars. 2005, 27,917,900,000. 2006, 34,1,29,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
48 million. 2017, 53 billion, 475 million. 2018, 50 billion, 501 million. 2019, 51 billion, 776 million dollars. Since Sparrow wrote this song, we've budgeted and spent a little under one trillion dollars. <laughs> You're like a wild child all over the live video. I just read year by year budget from 1980 to now. A little under one trillion dollars. Displaying impatience. Pull yourself and give me feather. Patients ain't getting no beds. In 1980, hospital have no linen. It's brown paper they using. Take a sleep, be my boy. Public transportation is an abomination. PTSC, public transportation is an abomination. 40 years, one trillion dollars later. Take a sleep, be my boy. Well, food clothes and rent is proof. Cost of living gone through the roof. Take a sleep, be my boy. And as we to blame, because each of those budgets I read to you were done by Williams, Williams, Chambers, 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 Robinson, 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 Selby Wilson, Selby Wilson, Wendell Motley, Wendell Motley, Wendell Motley, Wendell Motley, Brian Quaitong, Brian Quaitong, Brian Quaitong, Brian Quaitong, Brian Quaitong, Brian Quaitong, Gerald Yetming. Patrick Manning, Patrick Manning, Patrick Manning, Karen Nunes de Sherrill, Karen Nunes de Sherrill, Winston Dukaran, Winston Dukaran, Larry Hawaii, Larry Hawaii, Larry Hawaii. Call him Inbert four times. One trillion dollars. And nothing works in this two by four country. Nothing works here. The gentleman who was telling me on the last video that I was telling you about what the Bible say, I had to explain to him. Anytime you think this has to do with Bible and not law enforcement, Get in a boat. Get in a boat. Drive to New York City. And don't stop when the Coast Guard radio you. Tell them. Bible say there's the end days. They will always be crying. See if they don't leave you as a burning husk in a hole in the water. The reason Trinidad and Tobago has crime is because drug traffickers and money launderers are putting money in the government's hand and the government is not securing the nation's borders. The maritime security wall will end the drug, gun, and human trafficking to, through, and from Trinidad and Tobago. Ask Rowley, ask Kamala, ask Pandey, dig up Manning's taunting ass and ask him, why haven't you secured this nation's borders. Why? Why haven't you? Why hasn't? Forget the rest. Forget everything up to 1990. The aberration that was Eric Williams. This country has been put over a barrel and raped by the PNM. Eric Williams started it. Eric Williams was a criminal. To hear the UNC talk, Kamala is incompetent. She's not corrupt. She's just surrounded by people who are criminals. And that's what they say. And they excuse it. So you end up with a government that rob and rape you. And the person who appoint them all, well, she get fool. And that's it. And that's it. At what point do we realize race, color, creed, class don't make a difference when the country is being looted? And that there is nothing here 
of any value for any of us. We are being transformed into labor and consumption. And that's it. One trillion dollars later, whoever is your tribe, if you could defend it, then do us. Do us. When the consequences of it comes home to you. When my sister died, due to the malpractice of a doctor who died himself 23 days later, but when she died, there was nowhere for me to go and ask for an investigation. This Trinidad, healthy woman, is go to the hospital to make children and dead. This is Trinidad. This is Trinidad. 120 senior citizens could be lined up at the St. James Medical Facility. Eye drops put in their eyes to dilate their pupils for cataract surgery. And then you realize you have no lenses. So you send all them old people home with their pupils dilated. And you tell them come back in six months. We master this country. We master bullshit in another nation just any one of these things any one of them in another nation the ceo of the northwest regional health authority and the minister of health would have been roasted on the media until they were fired king rowley would not be able to fart mr prime minister what do you have to say about terence de Alsing and the whoever the hell is the ceo of the northwest regional health authority and what do you have to say about snakes running in the hospital and pigeons roosting in the or what do you have to say there was nobody I could turn to. Nobody. People who died in this country waiting on ambulances. People who died in this country waiting on bed in hospital and doctor to check them. People who just died from normal, everyday bullshit malpractice. There's nothing for you. You think. You think because it looks like because it looks like what you see on TV, you think that you're safe, but you're not. You're not. Public health kills people. People, healthy people, go to make children in San Fernando General Hospital that have a worse kill rate than Baghdad. And all they want to do is sue me to shut me up. Five billion dollars is spent every year on public health. Five billion dollars. Not to build hospital. Don't get chained up. Don't take Kamla build Kuva hospital out of that money. Don't build, don't take Rowley building point fourteen on a rim out of that money. No, sir. That is Chinese loans and IDB loans. That five billion. That five billion is to thief. That five billion is to buy medical equipment and appliances 400 and 500 times the price. That, that money is to buy stock for hospitals intended for private practice. We are a shithole of epic proportions. When doctors who swear an oath to first do no harm realize that they're working in a public health system where you could thief and you could rob because everybody else thiefing and robbing man packing whole mri in their freaking car i hear people talking about can't pay for microscope bulb that not overnight that happened when Eric Williams told this nation of predominantly black people, Afro and Indo people, make up the majority of the population of this country. And England saw 
No difference between Afro and Indian. They were all black. And, and when Eric Williams told that mass 900,000, well, at that time it was about 700,000. When Eric Williams told that mass of black and Indian people, mass are they done? He perverted their minds, corrupted them removed their pride and their drive to development, removed them from understanding that a proper job, savings, and work is the best way forward. And what they ended up as now in a mass plantation, and I ask the PNM, if Massa they done, how come when I go, now they have some white skin behind the counters or with the shovels, but when, when you talk to them, Abla no English, senor, because they're not chili white and they're not chili cereal. But what is behind the counter? What is behind the counter is indicative of the fact that Master Day never done. And you have to deal with that. Because as long as you have all of these people suffering financially, can't own a home, can't own a business, island finance, island finance built an entire business on whining on a bumsy. You want to whine on a bumsy for 2020? Island finance will pay for it. We will pay for UE tickets, Saints, Fetting with the Saints, QRC, Blue in with Blood, whatever bullshit they're talking about now, Fatima. Where you want to go? Where presentation? We, we, we financing all. You want your, your, your costume from Tribe? You want to pay for your drinks in, in Hearts Band? Island Finance paying all of that for you. Why on a bumsy? Pay for the next 12 months and finish pay just in time to wine on a bumsy in 2021. But go to Island Finance for that same money to start a business. The other time with you? They have no interest in you. Go to expand your business, not to buy equipment. You're sitting down sewing by hand. You want to buy a machine. We have no interest in that. This is wine on a bumsy economics. You must not go from net employee to net employer. You're mad. You're insane. We're not helping with that. Royal Bank, Scotia Bank, Republic Bank, not helping you with that. The bank's telling you plain. When you don't need money, come to them. They will lend you money then. Name house. I'm not talking house. You can't buy house in Trinidad. You can't buy house in Trinidad. The price of a house in Trinidad is 5,000 times higher than it should be. The price of a mortgage in Trinidad is 1,000 times more than it should be. You can't talk house. Come now, man. We've set this country up to keep poor people poor forever and dangle the illusion with Lotto. Because if you have any money left in your pocket, we come in for that as the NLCB. Come and do a quick pick. A pick two, pick four, pick nine, pick 277. I don't know how much games. Scratch, itch, pull it down, pull it up. Once we can take the money out your pocket, because that's all they're doing. Once you're desperate and suffering, you will keep working. So, and courts will come and tell you, don't worry, no man, we will finance it. Wanna, you want to lie down on it? You want to jump on it? You want to put things to call? We're helping you. Five times the price of what it would is where you're paying. And the first half of every loan, every higher purchase, every credit in this country, the first half is 90% of the interest. If you go to say, I want to settle, you still owe the full price of where you're buying. Still owe it. But I'm paying you five years now? Yes. Yeah, I'll never, remember the I'll never forget the shock when I went to settle a mortgage. I said, but I pay you all for 10 years. Yes, they paid off the interest. That is insanity. How you could let people do people that? Where is the leadership? Where is the government? And you know why they're doing that? Because all you're full of false pride. All you're afraid to say, all you're catching, all your ass. This is not easy. All you're afraid to tell your neighbor, boy, a duck in courts, my son hide the car from school, from, 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 what's the next finance? General finance, my son hide the car from general finance. And, and, and we, we catch it, we ask. We have about 
four months or any landlord. And I know, you see, if you start to talk that, if you start to talk that to one another, the country will realize that it's not just you suffering. It's not just you working 80 hours a week and the salary can't pay the bills. You're living in a shithole house. You're, I mean, where you're living in, you shouldn't be living in, but you can't do better. And, and if they only raise the price of one more thing, you're dead. Because you just can't stretch that anymore. Listen. It is time to stop that. It is time to stop pretending things good. It is time to stop living on higher purchase and debt and credit for things you don't need. It is time for you to start living the way People have made successes of their lives all through history. Get a proper job. Take care of your family. Save your money. I just tell people, you see me outside, I wear clothes. People say, boy, go and buy some clothes now. I'm not wasting money. I do not own a single, not one piece of jewelry. Not one. I do not own a single watch. The last watch I had, gave it to my father because he liked it. I don't own that. When I, I wear shoes, I have one sneakers. And when that sneakers mash up, I buy a next sneakers. And I come in to buy on sale. The people in Starlight Drugs, I tell you all that. The people in Starlight Drugs know if I reach there and they have things banded on the counter, half price, quarter price, I buy that. I buy that. I live like I poor because I've been poor. I've been hungry. I I live like it, it I have enough. And by living so, I have made sure that my next generations could live. We, the people of this country, the one point four million of you. You are the labor that upholds every business in China. Oil care pump. Oil care pump, oil can refine, oil can transport to the gas station. The gas station can open, gas can go in nobody car without just that, just that. That day, oil care pump can reach the car. That country shut down. The banks can work without employees. The banks cannot. There's nothing that they could do. They can't open. They have enough people to open on money teller. They don't. Without employees, they're done. All them fast food place, all, all, all. Without employees, they're dead. All, all. You need to understand, your labor is the, are the pillars that upholds the entire country. When they disrespect you, when they insult you, when they make you feel like your labor have no value and you're replaceable, they can only get away with that because trinnies don't look out for trinnies. If Trinis used to look out for Trinis, if somebody get treated bad in a bank or a business place and have to rest down what they line up to buy and they can't buy it again and they're going to walk out in shame, if everybody else in that line rest down too and walk out, <laughs> but now they run behind the first person. Come now, man. Come. When you watch Mario's and Kiss Making Company bully that little Indian girl with she basketball cake. Oh, well, you see? Mario's zip down, pull out, and piss on she boy. Kiss, kick she in she head. Bully. Corporate raiders. Half other than Bermudas. Watch them. A little 20-year-old Indian girl trying. She make a little mistake. Big Mario's Pizza and Kiss Baking Company, two of the largest companies in this country, jump out to bully this little child. And all I ask myself is, if just the East Indian community stood up with that little 20-year-old girl, Mario's and Kiss 
dead, done, if just dead. So that is it. That is it. You're dead. If they're not working for you, or come to work, but they're not buying from you. The next thing you need to understand is your money, your small money, no Porsche, no Mercedes Benz, no BMW could sell in this country without your small money. It is your small money that makes every business in this country function. Everyone. Every single one. And from the day Peter George Sr. said in that video with Anthony Boudin that they are 5,000 and they're small, but they're the most powerful, I I said to myself, if this country had people with self-respect, he choke on them words. He choke on them words. The next time Boudin would see he, he and he fought children in tata clothes down in town trying to sell outside somebody else's business. Vending. Most powerful. My red ass. But this is Trinidad and Tobago. And here, we have false pride, fake shame, and we don't care about one another. Because the day we do, Wasa will work. The day we do, and you don't have to, and I keep telling people this, there are three things that are the most important things that you do that everybody does. Your labor, your consumption, and your vote. Those three things. Your labor, your consumption, and your vote. Those three things are the entirety of this country. Without PNM votes, Keith Rowley sweeping street in town. Without black votes voting for PNM, Rohan Senanan packing gondola in in grocery. Like how short young, they don't think a barber could have worked for a million dollars his whole life. But Stuart Young don't mind a lawyer getting half a million dollars to write one letter. See these people, these people think they alone must have. And this is what they don't understand about me. I grew up in a family that believes if we can't have everybody happy, none of us should be happy. I don't believe in this bullshit 1% royalty, high society nonsense. I don't believe in that. I believe in a nation that works. And some people could work extremely hard and could have excellent good fortune and could prosper. I support that. But it shouldn't be of one race. And it shouldn't be of one tribe. And it shouldn't be that you back a political party and when they get into office, you've won the lotto. It shouldn't be. It should be that the play field is level, regardless of if you come to school in a suede clerks or a push toe slippers. It should be that the education system is blind to your circumstances and treats you with respect. It must be that jobs are available for all. That if you're working in a place where you're unhappy and they're taking advantage of you, that you should be able to go and look for another job and Jim Air call Charlie and say, yeah, 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 she used to work for me. Don't hire she asked. I'm teaching she a lesson. That's your hand go. A small handful of people have the whole economy on lock. When the economy, the entirety of the economy is in your pocket is in your bag. All that bullshit stand that the banks talk for the media. The whole country do susu tomorrow. The banks in trouble. We cannot destabilize the country. That should not be our intention. What should be our intention? Proper rules, proper systems that respects everybody. That is all. An equal application of every ounce of state power across the board. So Sabga, Sami, Singh, or whoever get hold drunk, same consequence in the court. Regardless of the price of the pants and the drawers you're wearing, same consequence 
in the court. The day we get to there, the day we get to a place where the judge that meted out of uneven justice immediately fired. Fired, shamed publicly. Can't do that. But we live in a country where a small handful of people are upheld up on top on the backs of 1.4 million people who don't understand that they are the ones holding all the royalty up. That it is their vote, it is their labor, and their consumption that is the entirety of Trinidad and Tobago. And that if they, you see, it's easy to grab Sukwa, come and tell me, bullshit, boss a mark, three million for a daughter. This is what we do. He will do that, and then somebody will make a meme, and somebody will bust a joke. But we're not going to actually do anything of any substance or any value, because when it comes time to vote, we vote in tribe and we vote in race. Well, boy, they tell me I was pretty vote, you know, so I saved my vote. All kind of bullshit. All the work and all the years and all the words informing, educating, empowering. I snatched people from political obscurity and gave them an idea that yes, this could be. And those same people try to be me or to do what I do, only to find that it takes a little more than just copying and pasting my words. That you have to actually love this country. That you have to actually have compassion for people. And I see what the opponents and the detractors try to say about me. But I have done more charity in my life, and I never want to trade on that, than the entirety of the PNM and the UNC combined. So when people ask today, a man say, where well, there was in the, nine, in the 2018 flood, where you see all you? Well, boy, they get bus up because progressive empowerment party, despite never having held government, we have no war chest or nothing, was able to amass a quick response. We were the first responders, and using the 4 by 4 club, we reached places in the army take a week to get to. The Progressive Empowerment Party is an idea. That's what it is. The Progressive Empowerment Party is an idea that people could stand together for each other, work together, level the play field, and like a rising tide, lift all boats. The Progressive Empowerment Party is an idea that the country could be safe, not with water cannons and an arms race between the police and the bandits. The Progressive Empowerment Party is an idea that we tackle poverty, we detonate a bomb that destroys poverty in this country. We make sure that we come with economic values that creates hope and opportunity for Everybody, everybody, jobs like that, like radiation fallout. You must be able to have jobs. You must be able to access finance. You must be able to go to the bank and get a loan to start your little side hustle. There must be vibrancy in the economy. But we don't have that. We don't have it. And we don't have it because we've allowed ourselves to be divided and set against each other. So it is easy for people to come and talk bullshit, give you nonsense to hold. It's easy for a man like Samuel Stafford or Winston Rago or one of these other talking heads to just don't like me. For whatever reason, in Chinese he gained any money, he gained handles, so you gotta do what you're doing on that side. For whatever reason, and they just will put effort into leading people astray. I say this all the time. I don't care what Rowley say before, people say Rowley say something like that. I really didn't want to be in politics. I have been close to it my whole life. And to tell somebody today, somebody say you shouldn't want parties to fail. I say, brother, I supported all of them. I tried with all of them. I marched with the with the with the UNC and and Congress and the people to ask the tax, and I marched with the PNM over Section 34. I tried to get, I tried to get them to work. I, I gave them my support. This is not where I want to be in my life. Taking talk, stick. 
We must get to a place where people put down their guns because they have opportunity, not because you're threatening them. They have enough threats you could make. And at some point, we will get sick to our stomach of seeing all those dead bodies all the time. We'll get sick of it. Whether it's police or bandits, we will want a, a better country. We will want to see that those in high office understand that crime is a function of poverty and a drug trade gone wild in this country. Massive guns and drugs. And then there's the white collar criminality of people acquiring properties and throwing up buildings so that the government could rent it from them and pay full value for that building in five years in rent. I ask, why are we renting the majority of Issa Nicholas building when that same money, public money, state money, could be put to work building equity for a building that we could then rent out? Imagine if the government of Trinidad and Tobago own 10 buildings like that and renting them out to other businesses. Imagine that. That's where we should be. That's where we should be. But we're not. Because government is seen as a way to make money. To get a lighting contract on president's house. I would love to see the details of that lighting contract. I'd love to see what we pay to light president's house. I would like to know how much we spend it lighting president's house, White Hall, and the Taruba Stadium every night for no reason. For none. None whatsoever. There's no reason. There's no amount of pride you could instill in people seeing an edifice lit up at night when they know if they trip and fall right there and they had to go to the hospital, they had to wait 10 hours, 20 hours, 40 hours to see a doctor. And then sure to see a correct doctor. It can't continue. It cannot continue. The most important thing now is your vote. We have months away from an election. What we do next is important. What we do next, what we say next, what we do on social media, what we allow to be done in our names, that's important. That's really important. Good Melfon asked if I will make a good Prime Minister. Good boy, I'm not even sure if I want the job. I am here because there is nobody else. Now, you would start your question by saying he talks a good talk. I'll tell you, it's not just talk a good talk. I talk better than all the politicians combined. There are people who will have knowledge in a specific field more than me. But you will never find a politician in Trinidad and Tobago that has my depth, breadth, and wealth of knowledge. I do a lot of research, and I work at this constantly. So I have the ability to man-manage and to plan, to pull people together. Without any money at all, with no deep pocket finances, we've built a massive political party called the Progressive Empowerment Party, hidden away from the public by a 1% owned corrupt propaganda media machine, we dictate the national narrative. Our policies and plans are so spot on that all the other political parties are copying and pasting our words to the point where UNC sent a little boy named Shane on one of these talk shows, election night, he talking politically sexy. And everybody know in politics, that is my phrase, to define myself. I am black, I am Indian, I politically sexy. They will teeth milk and sugar out of coffee. I can only guarantee you this, that the commitment that it took to try 
will not be wasted should you all give us the opportunity. It will manifest and redound to a country because I want to grow old here. I want to grow old in Trinidad. And I want my children to grow up here. They can go and see the world, but I want this to be their home. And the only way for that to happen is to fix Trinidad. Because come general elections, 2020, constitutionally due, September 2020, but they could manipulate like the UNC manipulated and take it straight to March 2021. But at some point, an election must call. And I want to tell you this, Kern, that if we are not in office, I, and I say this loud and clear, I will be leaving. I do not want to be here when the collapse happens. Because I believe Trinidad and Tobago can't survive much more than this. You need a government that has a blueprint and a plan how to fix it. We are the only political movement that launched with a manifesto. And our manifesto is so powerful, is so strong on policy that the other parties have to copy and paste what we say. So if we could do this, if we could open five offices in Trinidad and an office in New York City, if we could have chapters in Florida, New York, and Toronto, vibrant, functional chapters, if we could have a membership, a leadership, an executive, a, a vast and growing team of of patriotic, civil-minded Trinidadians. If we could do that with no money under a media blackout, friend, give us a chance. That's, we deserve it. I'm going to tell you something, one last thing, to you. It can't, we can't do worse than they're doing. It could only get better. We swing a hammer in this country to improve. It could only get better. All of the best bright people, all of the hopeful people, all of the people who want better for everybody, all of those people are coming to the Progressive Empowerment Party from all manners and all walks of life. Every creed and race, white, black, red, green, yellow, Syrian, Chinese, Afro, Indo, the Progressive Empowerment Party, our symbol is an umbrella. And there is room under this umbrella for everybody. The mission is 1.4 million people raised above the poverty line, raised to the point where our money in our pocket, we've worked it out. It's the Progressive Empowerment Party that tells you we are $14 to every $100. So when you work for $200 in the United States of America, you've worked for $28 in Trinidad for an entire day. And what you could get for that $200, what we can get. Orange, Kendall Baggy telling you. Our party is orange because red and yellow make orange. That's why we choose orange. You can't rhyme not know the word orange. But we chose orange to build that bridge, to create that opportunity. Even the haters, the detractors, the people who do me wrong. When Nicholas Sabga called me on the phone, after the Sabga media empire did me so much wickedness, he called me with an olive branch. I said, partner, if you come halfway, I will meet you there with my hand open. Because that's my role, that's my responsibility. The Progressive Empowerment Party has to bring two things to Trinidad and Tobago. A healing of all the divisions and justice. People must see that the government and the offices of state of this country swings both ways. That is not just the lowest classes could be brought to justice. That those who have looted this country, those who have corruptly enriched themselves, those who have betrayed the public trust are named, shamed, and prosecuted. Because you need that. That is the only way people will trust. I tell people, when you're cleaning up the police service, don't clean up no stripe and one stripe, clean up khaki. Because when you clean up khaki, no stripe and one stripe will realize that you're serious and they will obey the law and they will hold to the oath that they made 
to protect and serve without fear or favor, malice or ill will. Trinidad and Tobago is broken by deliberate design. Political leaders of other parties will not use words like fail nation and rat hole for whatever reason. I tell you it as it is. If you doubt me, go casualty. If you doubt me, walk Mount Hope Hospital. If you doubt me, go into any public office. Go licensing office. Go to the passport office. If you doubt that Trinidad and Tobago is a failed nation or a rat hole, go town and country planning division. Go customs and excise. Call the Coast Guard. Call the police. Call the army. Find out what the Coast Guard and the army job is. Call for an ambulance. If you think this country is not failing or failed, put your money in the bank and watch what happens to the money that you put in the bank. And ask yourself, if I put money in a bank account and it is now just an entry on a spreadsheet, how does it cost me money every month? What are they doing that they have to charge me 50 and 100 dollars a month to maintain one line item on a spreadsheet? Yeah? I had to come back and finish this version of the video tonight because I didn't like what happened to the first video. I want to tell you, for 2020, I am going to double down and I will try my endeavor best to go back to doing a nightly live video at either 8 or 9 o'clock every day that I will bring information to you because come election day, whenever it is called, I want everybody in this country to walk into that booth full of information and make the decisions understanding the consequences of all their choices. From there, it is either we are smart enough as a people to come in out of the rain, to make better political choices, to vote ourselves a government that will ensure that all the people are given the same hope and opportunity and the same chances to maximize their full potential, regardless of if they come from Beetham or Goodwood Park or Gulfview. That's all I can tell you. I promise you, within weeks of the Progressive Empowerment Party coming to office, financial services regulations will be made law. The speed with which they change your $100 board bills, that kind of speed. Within weeks of the Progressive Empowerment Party coming to office, the borders of Trinidad and Tobago will be shut tight three miles out at sea and the maritime security wall built. The port of Port of Spain moved to a facility 10 times its size in Point Lisas to facilitate the unstuffing of all containers. The mission is to end the drug trade completely. Our maritime security wall will be supported by sonar boys and the 360 degree radar so they can't come and see in the air or underwater. We will make sure that we end it. From the time we shut the borders cold and there is no way for any refugees and gun smuggling and drug smuggling and human trafficking. From the moment no more guns could come into the country, we will put a bounty of between $1,000 and $2,000 on every firearm, illegal firearm seized by law enforcement and bring. We ain't giving no amnesty. Seize it, bring it, we will melt it. You'll get paid between $1,000 and $2,000 per gun. The last Prime Minister, Keith Rowley, says that there are 37,000 illegal firearms in the country. That will require a budget of about $60 million. We could put that aside to safeguard the nation. Let bandits hold it up with slingshot. Yeah? And we will make sure that jobs are plenty. Ends the nonsense of stuffing fries and twirling batons as the only options. We will make sure that we put Trinidad and Tobago back on the map five pillars of a diversified economy so that no one thing could plunge us into recession. There are things that need to be done to rebuild this country. It has to start in the home, in the family, in the community because our nation is a collection of communities. It is the Progressive Empowerment Party that says no public funds will be given to any contractor who is not from the constituency in which the work is being done. And the workers must live there. That way, the money will trickle 
all the way down. The Progressive Empowerment Party is the party that says we will decentralize Wasser, we will break it up into 41 Wassers, we will open water makers, water harvesters, dams, retention ponds, whatever it takes to put water in your home 24 7, you will get that. 41 partnerships, that's what you do. And each of them functional to make a profit for the state and give you water. All of that is realistic. All of that is possible. All of that is we just copying and pasting what is available in the first world. You want a better country? You're going to have to vote for it. All the passion that you have to clown and to meme and to cuss and to bus mark, put that passion in your finger. All the passion you have to riot, you want to riot, you want to go in the street, now we march, put that, put that passion in your finger. You want to burn tires, you want to block the road, put it in your finger. Put all that in your finger. Concentrate it in your finger. Stand by, cocked and ready. Make sure you're registered to vote your ID card fresh, crisp and in your pocket. Make sure you know where you're voting. The EBC say, there's your address, there's your police station. You know that a year in advance. Be ready, cock like a map -pee. As soon as they call the election, go down to the polling station early in the morning, line up and vote. And after you vote, find everybody in your family who's supposed to vote. As you all in your transport, are coming to pick you up and take you. Let me rescue the country. The day 1.4 million of us get of like mind, regardless of skin color, creed, class, regardless of any divider, social or otherwise. The day we get of like mind in the state, the government, the parliament, the cabinet, the courts, everything. Those are public servants and they have to work for us. They must deliver to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. The day we get of like mind is the day we fix Trinidad and Tobago. Anybody tell you anything different, leading you astray. Until tomorrow, stay safe, Trinidad and Tobago.